One task that Adobe Express makes very, very easy is duplicating and resizing your project for the myriad of social media formats required. That doesn't mean we don't have to do some editing. With all the different ratios, that's inevitable. Clicking the resize button will tell us the dimensions of the current page. You can choose to view this in pixels, inches, centimeters or millimeters. As a rule, projects for social media tend to use pixels, whilst those destined for print might use inches. Underneath the word resize, it will give you the current template name and size. In this case, poster at 11 by 17 inches. If we don't want to scroll looking for template sizes and we know the measurements, we can change the unit of measurement and easily type that into the custom boxes. At the bottom of the panel, the resize button will turn blue. When you click resize, it will resize this current page. And of course, that means you will lose this design size. To the left, you will see the gray duplicate and resize button. It does exactly what you expect, duplicates the design and resizes it to the specified dimensions, creating a new page. Perhaps when watching other tutorials, especially Photoshop, you have heard the phrase non-destructive editing. Well, this is an example. Rather than resize this original project page and lose this version, we duplicate it and resize the copy. It's a really good habit to have and can save you from overwriting that really great design you had and having to redo it. When we click the duplicate and resize button, we're taken to another screen that shows us all our project pages. The pages will have little blue check marks and be outlined in blue. To view the new page, uncheck the original page and then double click the new page. This is a simple design, so it's done a good job of placing all the elements. Of course, the border lines need altering. I'll do those quickly. We've only two pages in our project, so it's likely we'll remember which size is which. But if we want more sizes, this can quickly get confusing. Above the canvas, you will see page, numbers and add title. We can enter the name of this page to remind us later which it is, without having to click on resize to open the panel and check its dimensions. Click once on add title and type in the name. I'll call this IG story and click in the empty space. I'll go back and edit the name of the first page too, poster. You can duplicate and resize multiple sizes too. Let's try Instagram square post, Pinterest post, and mix it up with a card that we might print. You'll notice that with multiple sizes selected, we can only choose duplicate and resize. And here are all our pages, ready for us to edit and rename as we did with the first two pages. Each of the new pages will have the name of the page we duplicated, IG story in this example. So let's check the size in the resize panel to make sure we get the correct name and change it. Clicking on the name will put your cursor at the beginning or end of the text. I hold down shift and use my keyboard arrows to highlight all the text and type my new page name.